Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a free Lightroom preset. So I've created this one myself, it's actually for sale on my website, but for the next, I don't know how long I haven't decided, maybe a week or so, I'm going to give it out for free. So make sure you hit the link below to get the free preset. But I'm also going to talk you through all the settings, so if by any chance it's no longer available for free, obviously you can go and purchase it if you want to, otherwise watch this whole video and I'll be explaining all of the settings. So I call this preset Coco Beach and I chose that name because it's very warm and kind of coconut, kind of coloured, browny coloured, pinky preset which is perfect for beach photographs. Um, I'll insert a couple of here and obviously you would have seen some on the thumbnail of the video as well. So let's get into the settings that I use. So like I said, just import any photograph that's kind of beachy, kind of blues and things like that that you want to edit onto Lightroom Mobile. Um, I'll link down below a blog post that I've written on how to install Lightroom Mobile and also how to install presets. So if you decide to buy any um, from my link down below, there's information there as well on how you can download them onto your phone and start using them straight away. So I've just started screen recording my phone. Um, this is the before and after, so you can see exactly what happens with this preset and these settings, you can see how it changes the photograph. The first thing I change is the exposure. Here I've put it up to plus 50, but this might change depending on the photograph that you're editing. It might need to come down or up depending on how bright it already is, but that's up to you to decide. Obviously you can change these things, this is just what I've done for this um, setting, for this preset. So then I've done contrast plus 10, highlights minus 100, Shadows plus 30, whites plus 30, and then blacks minus 30. So that's everything I do in the light section. The next section is colours, and here I do temperature plus 10 and tint plus 20. Like I said, it's quite a pinky preset, it's quite um, girly and warm. So I've gone plus 10 on the temperature, plus 20 on the tint. Vibrance set saturation, I've both left at zero. Obviously you can play about these settings if you want to, but I've personally left them there. And then if you go up to the mix, where there's the colour wheel. So for the red, the hue I've gone plus 20. The orange, the hue I've gone minus 20. Saturation plus 10, luminance minus 10. So that's to give myself a nice brown like tan colour. Like I said, you can change that depending on your skin tone. Yellow, I have done hue minus 30, so I've made my yellows a little bit more orange and less on the green side. The greens, I've done saturation minus 30 and luminance plus 50. The aqua shade, I've done luminance plus 50. Blue, I've moved the hue minus 50, so the blues go more of a turquoise colour, like an aqua colour. Saturation minus 30 and luminance plus 50. The purple I haven't touched and the pink I haven't touched either. And then on effects, I think the only thing I did is do the clarity plus 10. Detail, I've done sharpening to 60. And then that's basically it. And then if you want to save that as a preset, so if you do all these settings on your photograph and save it, you press the three dots at the top there create preset and then make sure that the preset group is in user presets so make sure you select that one and then you can type your own preset name so obviously I've called it Coco Beach but you can call it whatever you want to call it press the tick mark and then that is saved as a preset so then if you want to edit any of the photographs the same way you just go to there I'll show you how to do that now so if we go to this photograph of the palm trees you swipe all the way across to presets Find the preset that you've just made, Cocoa Beach, press the tick, and then that has applied the preset already for you, so as you can see the before and after. It's just a super, super easy way to make your holiday photographs and beach photographs really gorgeous and warm and a little bit pink toned. Obviously, like I said, you can play about with the exposure and the other settings and the oranges for skin colour if you want your skin to look a bit more yellow toned or brown toned, you can change that about there with the colour wheel. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. That was just a super quick tutorial on how to get this preset. Like I said, I will have it available for, let's say a week. A week for free, and then after that um, they'll be able to purchase them. But I also have some dog presets on there for anyone who's a dog photographer or likes photographs of their dogs. 
And I have three other travel presets available, so you can have a look at those as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!